Hello and welcome to PPGYT. It is time for a workout. Today we are going to be doing a 45 minute advanced booty workout. So that means a little bit more heavier equipment, but that also means just playing with some new stances that you maybe haven't tried before. If you are not advanced, you can always give this a try, right? You decide how far you want to take it. And I will also give modifications to some of the exercises to make them just a little bit more easy. So that being said, make sure you have a set of dumbbells something a little bit heavier than that you would maybe with your upper body because we're focusing on the lower body and you're also going to need a resistance band so bring that into your working space we're going to start with a warm-up today guys my name is Samantha let's get this workout started here we go all right we're going to pretend we have a little jump rope on the spot I want you to hop here if you have a jump rope at home nearby you can also go grab it real fast but otherwise we're just gonna fake it here, circling, nice and light on those toes. That's it, keep it up. For another, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, throw it to the side. Ha. Good, bring your hands behind your seat. We're gonna go for a little butt kick. So we're stretching our front of our quads, trying to bring our heel towards our hands and our seat. Don't let your knee go here, yes? I want it to be right underneath the body. Good. We're going to do another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Send those arms out to the front. We're going to go down for a squat. Push all the way back up. Back down. And push all the way. And I reach out those arms to the front. Yes, making sure that I'm counterbalancing that weight. Into the seat. And push. Good. Three more. And push. Two. And one. Back up. Good. Let's come down to the floor. Small little stretch here. Making sure that our hip joints are ready for today. So I want you to bring one leg forward. Back knee can stay to the floor. Good. Now take your hand a little bit wide off of your space. And then open up that knee. We're going to press that knee out. We're gonna revisit this stretch at the end of the class as well today. It's probably gonna be just a little bit more worked. Maybe you have a little bit of tightness from your starting point here. Good, bring it back center, switch over. Other side. And bring it front. Good, driving those hips forwards. Take your hand a little bit wider off the mat. Open up that toe, press that knee out. Very nice. Good. Bring it back to the center. Hands together. Coming on to our back. One more here and then we are getting right into those circuits. We're going to grab those weights, guys. I want you here on your back. Arms behind your head. Feet up and off. We're going small lift, crunch. Back down. Little exhale. And down. Lift up. And lower. Lift. And lower. Good. That's it. Just getting that waistline ready to support for today. We got our last five coming in. And four. And three. Last two. Last one. And relax. Good. All right. So we're going to stay down here on the floor to start today. I want you to find your resistance band to begin. So we're going to have four different exercises coming in for this first series. We're only doing it twice and using it more as an activation so that we're ready to bring in those heavier weights. So grab your band. We're going to bring it above your knees. Come down onto your back. And we're going into one of my favorites. We're going into hip thrust. But when I come up into that bridge, I'm going to do an abduction out with my knees. So walk those heels a little bit close in. We're going to go up, out, in, and back down. Yes? We're going to do this for 30 seconds, guys. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Go up, out, in, and down. So when I'm going out with those knees, making sure that those hips are also not going down as I open. So if I'm here, we're not doing that. Yes? Keep that tuck of the pelvis, the squeeze of the seat, just driving the knees up and out. And out, in. Good, keep it going. Almost through. And push, rib cage is relaxed. And down, push, out, in and push out in good one more and back down with those hips great 
Come back forward. We're gonna take the band off for a moment. Come down onto your back. We're gonna go with a single leg hip thrust. We're gonna be doing some single leg work today, so let's get that seat ready. Bring your opposite knee to your standing foot over your chest. You're gonna come back up to the bridge. We don't go as high as our regular two-legged, yes? I'd rather you build in and use the connection of the seat. So you are moving with me now, yes? Let's go into those single leg hip thrust. Clock has been running. So we don't wanna go high in this, right? Otherwise, we're gonna be just pushing through our back, bringing in that tension. We don't want that, yeah? This is all about the booty today. Good, keep it up. I think you guys are probably already feeling that. Good, almost through on your time for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring that seat down, little wiggle through those hips. We're gonna do that same thing on the other leg. Good, this is all about activation. Let's get right into it. Push it up, back down, push and down. So that squeeze of the seat is driving those hips up. Weight stays into the heel of that standing foot. Keep that opposite knee over your chest. And push, and push, good, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, we stand ourselves up. I want you to find that band once again, step into it. So we're gonna go for a full squat with the pulse at the bottom, but that pulse is gonna be a little bit bigger. So if I'm here, go down, come half up, back down, come all the way back up. Yes, you guys ready? Activation, here we go, reach up. Goes down, push, down, back up. Goes down, push half, back low, and up. So watch those knees, yes? Keep going through that movement. I'm driving those knees out the whole time, even in that half lift up. And half, and push. And half, big push. And push, good. Three more here for me. Two more. Last one. And up, good. All right, little shake, shake. Okay guys, you know what you're doing now. Yeah, we're gonna do that one more time. So I want you to keep your band on, come down to the floor, a little bit more tempo through the movement, yeah? Come down onto your back. Hip thrust with the abduction. I'll show once again. Heels in, up, out, in, down. Up, out, in. Good, you guys are joining now. You're here for the work. Let's get it in. Up, out, in. And up, out, in. So keep going through these movements for me. And as you're here, I want you to think, I'm giving you some cues. I want that tailbone nice and under. This should be flat through the front, yes? I'm not here in that push, yes? I don't like always showing the wrong version, but it's important to check in with your own body as well. Keep it up, guys. You got another five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and rest. Good, take one foot out of the band. Oop. Good, bring it to the side. One leg up and over the chest. You can push into that floor a little bit. Go up and lower. Up and lower. Push and down. Push, good. Make sure that rib cage is down. Push a little bit into that floor. Squeeze that seat to come up. You guys are still doing those beautiful thrusts for me. Oh yes, oh yes. And up, good. Four more. And three. And two. And one, good. Bring it down, let's switch over. Other side. Almost through here. Good, here we go, bring it up. Bring it down. Up and lower. And down. Knee stays over that chest. And you'll notice that knee staying over. If you keep it too far away. Yes, this is gonna help the support of that lumbar spine. Yes, it's already adding that tuck for me. Give me five more here. And four. And three. Last two. Last one, bring it down. Good, last one standing up. Bring your band with you above the knees. Also, if you don't have a band at home today, you can still do this. Yeah, you can, you can. You can also try tying some tights together or something for some resistance. Get creative if you don't have anything at home, yeah? 
Here we go, last part in this activation round, guys. Here, out, in, all the way back up. Go down, up, down. Oh, we were doing abductions. We're going half down, all the way down, half up, back down and push, all the way. And up, back down, and push. Good, really connecting through that movement. That's it, you guys are gonna keep on going for me. Down, half up, down, big push. Down, half up, down, big push. Three more here. Down, half up, down, big push. Two, half, down and push. Last one, all together. Down, half, down and push. All right, so, I think we're already feeling that booty, aren't we? So, we're gonna bring our band off, set it to the side, and I want you guys to make sure that you have your set of heavier dumbbells now. We're gonna be going for our first exercise in this next round with a B stance deadlift. So you're maybe familiar with your deadlift positioning. If you're here with two weights, so with two legs, I would be here and then coming back up, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna separate that front leg stance into a B stance. So the leg is not off the floor, it's just there for a bit of balance, but my front leg is now my working leg. So if I'm here in position, same way I would with my deadlift, keeping those dumbbells nice and close to the leg, send one leg back, and then I'm going to sit into that standing heel, keep those weights nice and close to the body, and come back up. As I send those hips back, I got a nice little stretch through those hamstrings. I drive those hips back forward, come into that squeeze, yes? Let's do this all together, guys. You got the technique, now let's knock it out. In three, in two, in one. Shoulders back, and sit in, and push. Sitting into that heel, we get a stretch through that hamstring, push through that standing leg, through the front heel, and push. So all of that tension, is staying in that front leg. My back leg is, of course, here for the balance, but I don't want you to push yourself up from that leg. Everything is coming up. Keep those shoulders back. And back up. Okay, guys, we're almost through our time on the first leg. Last two. Last one. And up, good. All right, shake it out. So we're gonna do that on the other side. <coughs> If you're starting to feel this in your lower back at all, check that technique for me, yeah? If you're with a mirror, yes, there should never be this curve here and weights away from the body. Like I said, I don't like showing the wrong version, but it's important for you to also see, oh, that's the difference. All right, so send the other leg back, shoulders back, weights to the front, here we go. Sit into the standing leg, drive those hips back forward, sit into the heel, and push. And again, sit into the heel, and push. So those dumbbells keep going through the movement. Those dumbbells are gonna be rolling against the front of that leg. If you've lost contact at all with the body, I always say it's almost like you're rolling your own leg, right? Keep the connection, drive and push through that front heel. So that standing seat by the end. Oh yeah, yeah. This should almost feel like your single leg hip thrust we did in that activation round. Good, keep going. Come back up, last two here, two, drive push, one more, and up, very nice, good. All right, now what you're gonna do is bring one weight to the side, you're gonna cradle hold this next one. We're gonna go into alternating curtsy lunges. So this front leg really has to work through, keep the wrap as you go down into the curtsy, so this knee stays open, I'm not here. Open it up, push through that front heel, alternate other side, go down curtsy, Push back up. You guys got it? Let's do it. Bring the weight in. Three, two, one. Cross and push. Alternate. Cross and push. Down. So wrapping is the key here. Don't go with the hip. Pull that hip back. Push through that front heel. You guys are still moving through side to side. Big push. And down. Good, back knee is just barely off that floor. And you don't have to go wide through that step. Keep that weight a little bit more on that front leg. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Great guys. All right, we're gonna hold just one weight again still. 
we're going into a sumo squat. We're gonna add a pulse at the bottom of the position. So grab your weight, you're holding down with the heavy part closest to you, facing this way, yeah? Take your feet a little bit to the front. If you go down to your sumo squat, you have a pulse, and then you come back up. Ooh, fun for that booty. I turn a little bit to the side, open up those shoulders for me. Here we go. Down, pulse, all the way up. So that pulse comes through the push and squeeze of that seat. Push and up. Continue through the movement. So when I'm down at that bottom position, those knees are driving out for that pulse. Open, push back up, yes? You keep going through it, guys. You're over half here. Quads are, of course, also working through that pulse. You're welcome. Good. Keep it going for five. Go low for four. And for three. Keep it up. For two. And one. Rest. All right, guys. Great work. So that was our first round. Good news. We're doing this again. We're going to bring that technique that we worked on here. Go a little bit faster through the repetitions now. Make sure that we're getting in all that we can. Are you guys ready? If you also want to go heavier on the weights, please do. You're here for yourself. Decide what your body needs today. All right, grab those weights again. Back to the deadlift. Come into your first leg. So if I'm here, here we go. In three, shoulders back. Two, and one. Sit, and push. So back is straight. Shoulders are staying connected into the back. I'm not here, right? Keep it open and push. Send the hips back and front. You definitely get a little stretch through those hamstrings in order to contract, come back up. Back and drive front. Good. Time to work that booty, guys. I want three more here. Last two. Last one. Bring it up, good. All right, little shake. All right, other side. Switch that leg. Roll the shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hips back and drive push. Good. Test that back foot for me. Do a little test. Can you take it up and off? If you're too wide in that position as well, that back leg is of course going to help you. Keep it nice and close. And push so much energy through this standing right heel, or whichever heel you have in front. Good, last three, two, one, and pause. Very good, drop one weight to the side. Cradle to the front, curtsy lunge. Here we go, three, two, one. Curtsy, big push. So again, we're transferring our weight here. That means that we need to have balance through the body, right? Don't make yourself heavier by going down, yeah? Nice and open through that chest. That waistline, keep your moving. Waistline is nice and engaged through here. Belly button supporting in towards that spine. Down, good. That's it, let's get that tempo coming in. That's it. Last four, three, last two, last one, and a little rest. Great work. Sumo squats coming in, yes? If you wanna go heavier now, now's your chance. You can also hold two dumbbells in that squat with the pulse. You guys ready? Let's do it. Grab it up. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, pulse, big push. Down, ha, and up. If you're wanting to advance this even more, you can also take those feet a little bit wider, rotate those toes a little bit more open. It's all about rotation, rotation, yes? If we're doing everything parallel, we are missing out on part of that beautiful rotation that we can get through the booty. Yes, yeah, so you want that peach? Work for it, rotate open. Keep it up guys, last three, last two, 
One more. Big push and rest. Good. All right. So take a little pause, shake out those legs. We've done two rounds and I feel it in me. You've done a beautiful job, guys. We're gonna go for one last round here through those same exercises. If you have something heavier, now's your chance, yeah? If you wanna just work on that technique, stick with the weights that you have, all for it, yeah? All right, let's come back in. Last round for each of these exercises. Choose your leg. Let's go on that beat. In three, two, one, let's go. Big push. Send it back. Finding that breath. Square out through those hips. Whatever leg is front, that hip is gonna have a tendency to go forward in the pelvis. So keep pulling it back like there's a little string on the back of your hip going, ha, pull it back to keep it square. Good, keep going through those reps. You got four more. And three. And two. One more. And push. Woohoo! We are feeling that standing leg. Good. Last time, other side, guys. Switch front. Pull it back. Here we go. And back. Push. And down. That's it. Stretch through the hamstring. We're only adding the bend at the top. This should not just be turning into a little single leg squat, yeah? Start with those hips. Back. Good, keep it going. And push. Good, I want four more. Last ones. Three. Two. And one, great. Bring one down, lift it up. Curtsy lunge. Here we go, in three, two, one. Cross back, down, push, down, good. Once again, remember that wrapping I was talking about in the first? Make sure you're not shifting through those hips. So my hips should not turn this way and this way, yeah? Square to the front the whole time. Just my leg wraps behind. Keep it going, big push. Front leg brings you up. Good, last three coming in. Three, big push. Two, one more. And up, good, take a pause. All right, sumo squats with a pulse. So we've been doing it with one weight. This time we're gonna do it with two. We're advancing it, guys. Are you ready? Choose your weights, grab them up, feet wide. Let's bring that power in. Weights together in three, two, one. Down, push, all the way up. And again, down, and all the way. Down, pulse push, and up. Down, push. Good. That's it. We came here to work, guys. Keep going through those movements. I want you to go low in that pulse. Go low. Half. Down. Oh, I know it's that bottom half. Three more. And down. Push. Two. Half. Down. Push. One more. Go low. Pulse. Down. Push. Great. All right. Nice work, guys. Take a moment here. Shake out those legs. Maybe a good time for a little sip of water, yes? for you and for I. So, great work guys. I think that booty is definitely feeling alive, working hard. So, we're gonna continue into our next series. We're going to be using not just our dumbbells, but also one of our resistance bands. So make sure that's also in your neighborhood still. If you have a heavier weight that you can go into for some of these exercises, again, all for it. If at this point you're like, okay, I pushed myself, you wanna go a little bit lower, 
yeah. that's on you guys. Yes. All right. Let's talk it through. So, goblet squat. We're gonna be starting there today. I want one weight coming to the front of your chest. It's a cradle hold again. Smaller with the distance of my feet. Not like your sumo. Toes are just slightly open. Heels are a little bit outside the hip line. I go nice and low, low, low. My back stays straight here. I'm never in this tucked position. And then I explode, push all the way back up. Yes, we're gonna do 40 seconds of working on this one. Explode through that push. Here we go, in three, two, one. Let's go, down and push. Knees are open, push away. So the sitting into the heels is key here. Otherwise, keeping too much weight forward and chest up like this, stacked hips. Yes, this is gonna be more quad focus. So that slight hinge here is automatically going to help activate that seat a little bit more. Playing with your mobility, go low. Big push. Squeezing that seat together from the bottom. Good, almost through. You guys got another 10 seconds. Go low for me, open up, open up. Squeeze through that seat. That's it, good. Three, two, one, and pause. Great, all right. Time to go into some single leg again. So we're gonna do this all on our first leg. And then we'll switch over to the second. There's a modification you can choose. I want two weights in your hands. We go down from the reverse lunge. You come up to a balance. How high that knee goes is up to you, yeah? If you wanna just come to the toe for your balance or lift it all the way up to the chest, decide for yourself. You guys ready? Three, two, one. All on that same side. Down, lift, and down, and lift. If you're going the easier version, yeah, we just bring it to that toe. If you wanna advance it, Drive that knee up. Energy through that standing heel. Push into that floor. Go down. Big push. And lift. And again. Down. Push. Lift. I am squeezing through that standing seat as I lift. Good. Keep it up, guys. Last two. Push. Last one. And lift it up. Little pause, great. All right, a little shake. Standing leg is working, I know. We're gonna do this on our second side, yes? So shake it, grab the weights. Here we go, three, two, and one. Let's go. Down and lift. Down, push through that heel. Squeeze through the seat. Down and lift. Keep going, guys. So as you're going down, again, think about that shift. Chest can come a little bit forward. If you come to the toe or that full lift, energy, energy ha, through that standing heel. Keep it up, you got another eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice guys. Okay, so we're gonna come back down to the floor, but I need you to grab your resistance band and your heavier single weight. So we come, bring it on, choose the weight, you only need one of them. We're going into banded dumbbell hip thrusts. Classic, classic booty trainer. Go heavy on the weight for more challenge. Good, here we go. Push that weight a little bit away from the hips. In three, two, one, here we go, push. Good. Keep it from the seat. Don't let that rib cage flare open at the top. Good. Keep that tempo, keep that tempo. Keep on going, guys. You're almost through, almost through. Keep squeezing through those heels. Don't let that band fall in on your way down. Keep those knees driving out, driving out. Keep it up for another five and four and three and two and one and rest. Great, okay. 
<sighs> Take a moment on that floor if you need it, guys. So we've run through our exercises for this series. We're gonna stand it up. We're gonna do it again with more energy. We have two more rounds of this to come in still, guys. So pace yourself, push yourself. If you're working with those heavier weights, you maybe need a little bit more recovery time between these exercises, yes? So take a little sip of water. We're gonna stand ourselves up. Back in, back in. All right, find that weight. Open up those toes. Cradle it to the front. Elbows are coming in. Those should be able to fall in at the bottom here between those knees. You guys ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. And down. And push. So we're not sitting at that bottom position as well. All right, we want to make sure we're not sitting down here and then finding that push. Yes, go down, push right back up. Go down, big press. Go down, keep that chest up for me. Relax those shoulders, belly button is pulling in. That whole body's working. Even though we got that booty on fire, keep it going. Down and push. Good, all the way. Last one's coming in. Five and four and three, two, one. Rest, great work guys. Okay, little shake, little shake. Good. Feels good working out, doesn't it? Putting in that time for that love, that self-care. Okay, guys. All right. Reverse lunge time. Decide. Toe, knee, what do you need? Yes? All right. Here we go. Clock starts. Three, two, one. Down. From that back position, lift. And down. Push. Lift and down, push, lift through that heel, down, and ha, down, and lift, keep it going guys, keep it going, I'm here for you, I know this is the moment in that workout that you're like, oh, it's getting hard, I want to stop, I'm there with you guys, yeah, don't stop for me, keep pushing through those reps, get it through, no one's going to do it for you, you got to put in that work, Three more here, and again, two. Last one here, down, and ha, and little rest. Shake out that standing leg, good. We're going over to the second side now, good. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it, three, two, one, let's go, down. Tap it, squeeze to lift, standing leg, energy, hop, down, hop, and again. And up, good. If you're feeling a little bit wobbly through that front knee, you'll maybe notice a little bit of this happening. Pull back that hip, push through that seat, yes? Don't sacrifice technique because you're tired. That's it. Keep it up. Last five. And four. And three. And two. Last one together. Down and lift. Hop. And little pause. Good. All right. Time to pulse. Are you guys ready? We'll bring it down, yeah? You need your band. Choose your weight. If you don't have enough heavy single weights, double up those weights. We just want that weight, weight, weight for that advanced version. Let's go. On the back. I want tempo. Here we go. In three, two, one. And push. So tempo through that thrust. Keep the balance of the weight. That tension should never be losing that booty. Keep it up. That's the burn we came here for. That's it. Keep it going. You guys are over half here. Good. We're gonna count it down from eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, two, one, and down. Oh la la. Good guys, great work. Band can come off. So, that means 
We only got one more. What? Only one more? All that hard work. Guys, the technique is there, yeah? If you can, I'm gonna say it again. You're stronger than you think, yeah? If you've done those first rounds with the same weights, go for it. Grab those heavier ones that you got. We got one last round of these three exercises. Let's give it all we got. Let's go, guys. Grab that single weight. We're in this together. You ready? Bring it front. Goblet squats. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down and push. Bring that breath in. You might have been thinking about all those cues today. Bring that breath in. That's it. Focus, controlled. You know what you're doing here. Have confidence in your movement. Confidence in yourself. That's it. Keep on going now, guys. You're over half on this round. Go low for me. Big push, squeeze from the bottom. Go low, low. Big push. Keep it up. You got another five. And push. Go low, go low for four. And up. Three more here, down. And push. Two more prettiest ones yet. Go down, go up. Last one, go low. Big push. And pause. Great, good, all right. Whew. Shake it up. So, we're gonna come back in. We got our reverse lunge. Beautiful knee coming up. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, down from here, go immediately into that knee lift without that tap in between. If you're like, no, Sam, I'm good. I'm gonna just keep it here. Listen to your body. Here we go, guys. Grab those weights. Clock starts. Three, two, and one. And down, through, and up, and down, up. And that's okay if you got a little wibble, little wobble. That's what we came here for, right? We came here to learn something about ourselves, learn about our body, challenge ourselves, but also just have that freedom to also discover what that form looks like for you. Keep going. Just because I stop doesn't mean you stop. Go low. Dry push all the way up. Good. Another five. Dry push. And four. Bring it up. Three more. That's it. Give me two more. All the way low. Last one. Prettiest one yet. Go low. Dry push. Ha! And rest. Whew. Good. All right. Other side, yeah? Shake out that standing leg. You need to do a little stretch in between. At least do those hips. Have a little music music moment for yourself. Good. All right, it's time. Other side. Grab those weights. Practice that transition. Try to go through the movement, right to that knee up. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Down, straight through, ha. And down, true, ha, good, ha, and down, good, keep it going, and ha, good, keep on moving now, keep on moving, that back knee doesn't have to hit the floor, but you're going low right now, you are making yourself proud, go low, big push, ha, and again, go down, press through and lift, ha, Good, you got five more here. Go low, lift it up. And again, go four. And lift, lift. Three more. Three, push, lift. Two more. Down, down, press, lift it up. One more here, go low, lift, ha, and rest. Good, guys. All right. Catch your breath, catch your breath. I know. Hard work, hard work. We're gonna bring it back down. So I want you to find this band. Come back in. We're gonna bring it over the hips. So, little heads up here. We're gonna go in here. Bring that weight over those hips. We're gonna go right into those uh, banded hip thrusts with the weight. Then we're gonna be going right into a short little burner for the finish, so no rest at the end. We're almost through it, guys. Let's go. Bring it onto your back. Weight over those hips. Walk it in. Let's bring some tempo. Here we go. And push. And push. Exhale through that breath. Support that weight. 
If you want to take those feet a little bit wider, maybe. Yeah, so it's going to be even more challenging for that seat. If you want that burn, go wild. Here we go. That's it. We're over half on that time. Just a minute, Jeff. Okay, keep going. We're going to count it down here, guys. From eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, weight comes off. Keep that band on, guys. We're gonna burn it out, burn it out. Come yourself forward into your tabletop. Lower down onto that one elbow, hand comes wide. We're gonna go side clam lift with that band. We go, hop and hop. Knee and heel lifting together. Good, keep it going. You got another five and four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, switch it over, other side. Oh, what did you sign up for today, guys? You signed up for it. You asked for that booty burn. Put it in now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, that's it. All right, come onto your back for the finish. We're gonna come back up to that bridge. We're gonna pulse it out. You guys are ready. No weights this time, just working with that body. Check those heels, open up those feet. Come up, we're pulsing for the finish. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, keeping it at that top. The bottom seats are part of that squeeze. Good, that's it, feel the burn. Let it happen, accept it. Here we go, eight, seven, six, for that finish in four, three, two, one, and drop. Woo, all right. Rock yourself up, guys. Wow, wow, we wow, great work today. Let's clear that space for ourselves. Take a little sip of water if you need. We're gonna stretch out that booty now. Beautiful work today, guys. All right, so stay down on the floor after all that hard work. So we're gonna come in, place your feet down. I want you to take one leg, bring that heel over your knee in this position. Bring your hands behind. So I want you to already start to straighten through your back in this position. If I'm here, depending on the tightness of your seat, you might already feel this stretch here. So I'm not sinking into my shoulders. I'm pressing long and away from that floor. Depending on your uh, intensity of the stretch that you're looking for today, you can walk your hands closer towards your seat to come up even higher. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We love it, we love it. Good, keep pressing into that floor, nice and straight through the back. Good. And small little release. Take that top leg off. And then we're gonna switch over, other leg. Use your hands to assist you. Bring the hands behind. So we start to straighten through the arms in the back. And then I'm here. Maybe this is already enough stretch for today. In other words, you're gonna walk those hands even closer towards your seat. Constantly trying to open up that front knee. Take that breath with me, inhale. And exhale out. Good. And release that press into the floor. Unfold that leg. We're gonna turn ourselves around. So coming into your tabletop position, we're gonna go into a little pigeon stretch. Send your leg out, scoop one heel in, and you're gonna just lower yourself down into this stretch, keeping your weight nice and centered onto the front leg. Walk those hands out to the front. And just relax that head down for me. Focusing on the pullback of this hip, that bent leg in the front should be the seat that we are stretching through. And breathing through. Good. Now start to walk those hands back in. Press through the floor, come back up. We're gonna switch over other side. Send the leg out, scoop that heel in. Start to lower yourself down through the center. And walk those hands out. Relax that head down. Breathing through. Hands can always reach out a little bit further. Good. Walk those hands in. Push into the floor to come back up. We're gonna come back into standing. 
and I want to thank you guys for joining this workout today. Wonderful work. I can feel all that time you just put into your body. So if you enjoyed this workout, be sure to give us a like, a little comment below, and also subscribe so that you can see whatever new workouts we have coming your way. My name is Samantha, and thank you guys for your workout. I'll see you back at the next.